Once upon a Christmas. Welcome back for another episode as we think about Christmas things, tell some Christmas stories, and give you some things to think about uh, during the Christmas season. In a previous episode, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but if you haven't, you can go back and listen to it. We talked about ways that you could not decorate according to Mission Control on the International Space Station. Believe it or not, we've had astronauts in space prior to astronauts being at the space station on Christmas. As a matter of fact, we've had some United States astronauts on Christmas Day in space. The year I'm thinking about is 1968, December 25th. Apollo 8 is the spacecraft that's up there. Astronauts James Lovell, Frank Borman, and William Anders emerged from the dark side of the moon when Mission Control heard this transmission from James Lovell. He said, we have a bogey at 10 o'clock high. Mission Control responded to him and said, is that the booster or is it an actual sighting? Trying to get some clarity. Lovell said, we have several actual sightings. Mission Control radioed back. Estimated distance or size? Lovell said, we also have the booster in sight. There was static. Mission Control asked him to please repeat. And James Lovell let the tension ease just a little bit with the following statement. Mission Control, please be informed. There is a Santa Claus. In other words, James Lovell was reporting from space, letting you know that Santa Claus was out there. And now, if you didn't believe before, you can believe now. You know, Christmas is a moment where the entire world celebrates the birth of a Savior. Interestingly enough, a lot of people who celebrate the birth of a Savior don't believe in that Savior. They like to celebrate the birth. They want to make it a big deal. But at the end of the day, it's not a big enough deal to change your life. My hope for you is that you do believe in the birth of the Savior, and that belief has changed who you are changed who you're going to be. Um, Hopefully, God has put in your orbit some people who need to know the truth about Christmas, and you're going to get an opportunity to share with them during this holiday season. What a great gift it would be if you could share with someone that you know, someone that you meet, someone that you love, the truth of the love of Jesus Christ, and have them accept Jesus by making the decision to believe, trust, and follow. See, we use that word a lot during Christmas. We say believe. And it does matter what you believe in. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. He came as Savior of the world. And that's what we celebrate. And you can believe it. I look forward to joining you again next time.